I happened to get a I happened to get a, a grade that didn't meet the prerequisite requirement for the class that was only offered in the spring semester. So it, it put me it put me a year behind. The good news is that extra year I matured personally and individually. Um, I had to go and work while I was in school and help pay for my pay for my tuition and my room and board. And I think all of that actually helped me. Um, it was a mistake and a, and a, a lesson learned in the beginning, <laughs> um, but ultimately it actually worked out for me. Um, I was on my friend that because he just got dumped out of a couple of his classes at Receive also having like nine credits. Yeah. So. <laughs> yep. And um, so what what do I wish I knew today? You know, it, it, school was a great experience when I got out of school went to work at Mark Marietta, um, I figured out very quickly that I didn't know anything and that but what I had learned in school was how to learn quickly and if I didn't know where it was, if I didn't know the answer of where, where to find it and um, I also realized that I needed to hook myself onto a really good mentor. So my boss that I worked for down there spent hours and hours and hours of his personal time um, after the normal work day was over, you know, talking about, you know, how, how my career might progress at uh, Mark Marietta. And, um, you know, you come out, of, come out of college and you get your degree and you kind of think you know a lot, and, and what you realize is that you're going to go to work somewhere and the people that you're working with are going to know a lot more than you do. And just open your ears and, you know, I'm sure you guys are going to all come out um, with your ears wide open and, and take advantage of, of people offering their time and, and their talents to help you get better. But, um, I, you know, at the end of the day, I, I turned, down a, uh, turned down a number of different jobs and took that job because of the interview process that I went through and, and I was genuinely liking the people that were interviewing me. So um, uh, I had a chance to stay here close by, I had a chance to work down at the coast and um, ended up going to Florida because of the interview process. We have time for one last okay. question. <laughs> that one sentence always scares everybody. I don't know why. I know. That's Good. pressure. So, <laughs> if you were going to start with a blank sheet of paper with all the technology that exists today, would you change the waste industry that exists? Or is trash cans on the curb and a truck picking it up? Is that the best? You know, I think um, the waste the waste business is really a logistics business. It's a different type of commodity, but it's not a whole lot different in terms of how the business operates than FedEx or UPS. In fact, some of our best managers that we have today were our, we go to FedEx and UPS and pick one of their guys that's five years in and grab them out and teach them our way of doing the logistics. Uh, it's all about picking up the waste with the fewest number of truck hours and the fewest gallons of diesel gasoline. So logistically it's pick it up with the least amount of impact mm -hmm. to the environment and cost. Um, there, we've been down a number of different roads picking it up, trying to pick up eight different things with one truck, with one with eight compartments. That didn't work. We tried driving three different trucks down the street, picking three different things up with three different trucks. Um, that's better. Try to get it all in one truck, take it back to a plant, and separate it at the plant. That doesn't work in terms of the, uh, the uh, economics of it. So, um, and every place is different. That's the other thing that's really uh, interesting about the waste business. Because you go out in the county and you find places out of the county where houses are on two or three acre parcels, and it's a longer, hot, longer start and stop. It takes you a lot longer to pick the same amount of trash up than if you pull in a neighborhood in downtown Raleigh. And there's a can every 18 feet. Do you guys have simulation models that you can stick all this stuff into, or just spreadsheets? I mean, no, we actually use a we actually use a, a routing software <coughs> called Route Smart. It was developed probably 15 years ago. It's a it's a third party product, and um, it, uh, it it's not it's not new. Um, the computer power has gotten faster, and you can turn it over really fast. Turn the turn the analysis over a lot faster than than earlier days. But, it's still the milk. It's still the salesman model, right? Try to t put a bunch of cities out there and send a salesman around to hit every city without crossing his path, which is the inefficient way. It's the same concept. Picking, 